all rich here and this is my newly modified armor felony been doing quite a lot of work on this over the past couple of weeks however i will say in this video i am going to show you what not to do with an armor felony this car is so over geared it's untrue but for five or six runs this is one of the fastest accelerating cars i have ever driven but as i say of that expression i do this stuff so you don't have to watch enjoy have a good laugh check out the speed and then at the end of the video i'm going to talk you through the new mods i've made to this car but we do need kind of a new body after this and i'm out with the armor felony uh, i'm running twin success packs in series on this at the minute with the new xlx2 esc i fitted my new speed gearing on more in a minute if that goes to plan which it may or may not i'm just gonna have a quick run up and down i'm gonna go ballistic on this today but i've got my speed meter on here so uh we will have a look and see what peak speed we do get today. Hopefully, everything will stay nice and cool. Now, when you see the gear in this, then he's running. You realise probably why I need quite a long run-up area. In order not to abate the car, but feed that power in and I have to say that is probably one of the fastest things I've ever driven that was up there with the truly terrifying, hopefully the GPS will have given us a good reading. 82 miles an hour coming up that slight slope. I'm shaking, I thought it was going, I thought it was quick, it, that felt scary fast. Start it again and see. Man, when you see the gear in this has got on board, you're gonna, you're gonna think I'm crazy. I'm moving down the hill primarily for the radio range. gonna need a hugely longer area no idea where the car is when you see the gearing on this you're gonna think I'm inside I probably am this is on 6s man that was just just in time to avoid the curve the one thing I've forgotten is with the XLX2 ESC it's still got the stock braking on here which is just madness given the uh, potential speed we've got in here so I might need to call it a day before I eat something which would not be good 90 miles an hour on there oh man and the braking is going to put it to a stop on things today I think because I can't hold on so I'm having a break very very early on that braking it's just non-existent. I'm gonna call it a quits. Always goes wrong when you're farthest away from anything. That's the motor lead gone wrong. Or the motor lead get on the motor getting far too warm. 97 miles an hour. Success. Not too bad. Have we still got power? I think the motor may have had it, Rich. Um, that is probably because it's actually running a 34 tooth pinion versus the 29 tooth spur. Because of the motor mount, I couldn't get anything nearer. So I could actually run with a smaller gear on there. I think with a right motor on there, this car is going to be well up the 130, 140 mark without any problem at all. And I was debating replacing the motor anyway, so uh, I think this has uh, cemented that decision. But 97 miles an hour, just on success. I was running them in parallel today to provide the current that it needed for this beast. But I think it might have been a little bit, a bridge too far with the uh, motor. Which even made my power hobby fans on. Oh man, it's a bit warm. 
What would that crazy gear combination? The car ran very fast, but sadly, I did fry the stock motor, even with my twin turbo power hobby fans keeping the motor cool. But in the meantime, I have fitted a new castle motor to the car, the power of which has to be seen to be believed, as does the damage all round to the felony body, which is missing quite a few bits. Anyway, let me get the camera down, quickly show you the mods I've made to the car, and then in the next video you see running of the felony, you're gonna see the new kind of tire shredding or blowing potential this new castle setup has. And this is the new setup. Still got the XLX2 ESC in there, but I've now got a castle 1650 motor. More on this build in, a, in the upcoming video. Got the Power Hobby twin turbo fans on there. However, I've just got one of these new 40 mil twist up fans from Power Hobby. So I'm gonna try that out and see if that gives a little bit more cooling than the twin turbo fans do on there. Tires, at the minute, the car with this power plant is blowing at least one rear tire every time I am running it. On full throttle, the power, within a couple of runs, it is literally ripping these tires off the rims. And a car might look dusty. That is because on full throttle at any point in the rev range with this setup, it is spinning all four wheels. I can nail it at like 70 miles an hour and all four wheels are still lighting up. Got a few aero issues, as you're gonna see in the upcoming video, that caused all of that body damage. But this car has huge potential, like 120, 130 mile an hour plus, with this gearing combination, now reversed around. We've got 34 tooth spool, 29 tooth pinion. So don't forget to subscribe if you don't wanna miss the next run of this car, which is, which is very uplifting more than a few times. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.